uh, correct term for this uh, patu is actually a uh, wahayaka. But um, we just call it in our terms like patu or miri. We normally bring it out on special occasions, have our talk in the middle, everyone gets their hand on the miri, and yeah, we kind of connect with the land and connect with each other and connect with the patu. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not a master carver, but it's, it's something that I've always been um, pretty interested in. And yeah, I guess some of it, I have definitely been self-taught. So if there's any master carvers out there that want to give me some lessons, I'm all ears. <laughs> but it's, it's something that I've always been um, pretty interested in. Uh, growing up on the Kapiti Coast, I was around a fair bit of it. And I was just always so impressed by some of the stuff that they'd, they had built and they had carved and some of the stories that they told through them, which I guess is really what carving's all about, is, is telling stories. So this is the third third year that we've had a patu on the team. And every patu or media has got a different story behind all of them. We kind of get the story from like past legends and um, we try and relate it to our team in this one. Call it the Piwaka Waka, I guess. Piwaka Waka is often referred to as like a bird of death or if a fantail is floating around you, it's <coughs> they reckon it's a, it's a spirit floating around, kind of always watching. So the handle is supposed to be a symbol of a Piwaka Waka. So as if a spirit or the way we re relate it is, um, is like past players always looking over you and always watching you. Uh, we had the alumni day and Craig de Goldie actually said we know what you're going through and we're always watching and we always understand the hard work that you put in uh, behind the scenes in the shadows. So this puts is kind of split down the middle down there. I guess if I hold it like this, it's the shadow side. Okay, so on this side, we've got uh, 21 koru in there and it's to represent our 21 players uh, all linking together. Yeah, and then the light side's the, the blade side. So I guess it's the blade side that does the damage and the blade side that everyone sees. What we kind of say on this shadow side where we, all the players sit, it's kind of what we do in the shadows that creates the power, I guess, for the blade side, for everyone to see uh, at home and, and on tour. On the old media that we had, it, we had little markings of everyone's family back home as well, so it kind of connected us to the family back home. We get to travel around the world a lot and got haka and, and, and songs and stuff like that. So and the patu is another way to showcase, I guess, the culture and a good way for us all to connect to everyone. <laughs>